good morning everybody and welcome to the weekly podcast on fundamentals of the market for the month of may the dow and the s&p 500 gained approximately 2% and half a percent respectively posting their fourth up month in a row the us initial jobless claims announced on 27th may slide to 406000 in the week ended 22nd may the decrease of 38000 from the previous week indicating the health of the recovery in the world's largest economy investors are also monitoring negotiation in washington over an infrastructure spending package aimed at further boosting the recovery fed officials believe that the factors driving the change in inflation are mostly transient means staying only a short time the key thing to watch out for in the near future would be the us bond yields because any rise in yields can take out the fi's money from developing countries like india to western markets and could also be a risk for emerging markets currencies brent crude price is another to thing to watch as brent price has increased by 2% in the previous week to 69.7 dollar per barrel slow down in covid progress on vaccination drive and global lifting of lockdowns would support crude demand and may push up crude prices further which is again negative for the indian economy for the first time retail prices for petrol crossed rupees 100 per liter in mumbai on 29th of may it was historic week for indian markets as nifty 50 surpassed its previous peak of 15431 to register a new high of 15470 on 20th may 2021 fis were net buyers in the cash segment for four out of five trading sessions in the last week with net buying of rupees 2040 crores while domestic institutions were net buyer in two out of five trading sessions in the cash segment last week with net selling of rupees 322 crores in results bpcl reported strong numbers for q4 financial year 2021 with the company announcing final dividend of rupees 58 per share we estimate bpcl divestment to complete within financial year 2022 with major value unlocking happening for investors we have buy recommendation on it with a price target of rupees 550 petrochemical spread has increased significantly during the week benefiting reliance industries and other petrochemical companies in other results sbi reported strong set of numbers with 80% year on year earnings growth recommendation is buy on sbi with a 12 months price target of rupees 470 hindalco also reported fabulous numbers for q4 with the company estimated to benefit from strong aluminium prices in financial year 2022 we put a buy on the stock as their fair value of the company is 500 with a view of next 12 months mahindra and mahindra and san pharma also reported in the num- in line numbers for q4 financial year 2021 big results expected in the current week include itc orbindo pharma mrf gujarat gas mother sansumi bharat forge divis laboratories and narayan rudayalaya on the macro front india's gdp for the first time will be released on 31st of may 2021 we estimate indian economy to grow by 10% in financial year 22 and 6.8% in financial year 23 the rbi and monetary policy committee mpc will announce its interest rate decision on coming friday 4th of june we expect mpc to announce incremental measures in the near term 
to mitigate the impact of localized restrictions while keeping the rate repo rate unchanged automobile companies would be reporting volumes for the month of may 2021 in the first week of june which may not be very healthy due to state mandated lockdown announced by most states which resulted in locked showrooms but auto companies are gearing up for a strong rebound in demand after reopening of the economy post june we expect improved numbers from auto companies from july onwards global queues steady decline in fresh covid-19 cases progress on vaccination drive expectations of another set of relief measure from central government expectations of state wise unlocking and prediction of normal monsoon by imd would influence the market in the near term fundamentally we chose sbi life as the stock pick of the week that has target of rupees 1360 in next 12 months descend 39% upside from current levels metals financials and pharmaceutical stocks should do well in the current week that's all from my side thank you very much for listening in and have a great week to all of you